Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. I don't have any dream or message to share today, but I will share the short teaching that I feel very important for us to know. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we are living in the final seconds before Jesus comes. So this is the very urgent time for us to prepare ourselves for rapture. Also, this is the most exciting time to live where we will see the greatest move of God in the history. We are the chosen generation that will see Jesus comes in the cloud. The question that we should ask ourselves now is, are we ready when Jesus comes? Like the vision I share on my community post recently, Jesus said, many of my people will perish. So this is the serious warning for us, brothers and sisters. About these two weeks, I feel the urge to share about the robe or garment related to repentance, but I have not had a chance to do it, and that vision is like the confirmation to me. Brothers and sisters, many people or believers think they don't need to repent after they become Christians. I saw the word repent also being twisted by some false teachers, saying that repent is not from sin, but repent is from unbelief to believe. So according to them, only unbelievers need to repent, while we as believers don't need to repent. In reality, we see many Christians living in sins, and all of us are sinners, and we are not perfect, so we need to repent too. This teaching is dangerous, unbiblical, and will lead many to hell. Brothers and sisters, if we don't repent or reconcile or confess our sins with God in the name of Jesus, our sins are still there even though we claim that we believe in Jesus. And if we bring those sins until we die, we don't confess it or ask Jesus to forgive us, we will go straightly to hell. I will use this simple parable to explain this condition. Suppose we buy a washing machine to help us wash our clothes. We say in our heart and we confess that we believe 100%. This machine can wash our clothes clean and white. By using this machine, we don't do anything by ourselves to clean our clothes. And then we have the dirty clothes. There are spots on the clothes. If we don't put that clothes into the machine or we don't use the machine to help us clean the clothes, will our clothes become clean and white? Brothers and sisters, this washing machine symbolizes the blood of Jesus and our clothes represent our spiritual condition. The dirt or spot is sin. If we only say we believe that Jesus died for our sins, but when we sin we don't come to him and repent, it's all useless, our sins are still there. Jesus, John the Baptist and the Apostles preached about repentance and confession of sins, so that is the instruction from God to us. As I ever said, these false teachers always come out with the teaching that contradict the word of God. They claim that they believe in Jesus, only faith in Jesus saves us, they said. But when they sin, they don't come to Jesus, don't want to repent. And the worst is they attack the message of repentance by saying repent from sins will not save us. So I feel their confession that they believe Jesus died for their sins sounds like a lie and slogan only that end up in their mouths but not manifested in their action. Brothers and sisters, this is the spirit of religion and not the Holy Spirit, so don't be deceived. The reason I say all of this is not because I like to argue or hate them, but I only want to bring us the truth from the word of God, so that we don't confuse and be deceived. That's all I like to share, brothers and sisters. Hope this could help us to prepare for the coming of Jesus. If you have any comments about this message, you can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me or share it in the comment section. May Jesus our Lord and Savior bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters, and thank you for listening. Bye.